Today we're going to look at interpreting graphs and tables. Data that, can, that has been collected or needs to be communicated can be represented as a graph or a table. Using graphs can be a great way to show visually uh, and, compare, and com easily compare uh, different trends and different relationships in the data. So here we've got four different types, some examples. A column graph shows very easily the comparison between different uh, different values. So this value here is much is the greatest value and this is the least value here. A pie chart shows the parts that make up a whole and show, shows uh, the various relationships between how much each part makes up the percentage, the fraction that each part makes up out of the whole. A line graph shows a trend between two uh, variables, two things that might have a relationship and a divided bar graph is very similar to a pie chart in, it, in that it shows the parts that make up the whole. The different, uh, different components that need to be included in a graph, especially if you're trying to communicate um, some scientific data that you've collected in an experiment or some mathematical data you might have collected in an experiment include a title. The title of this graph is a te the temperature of water being heated over time. Axis titles, so time on this axis and temperature on this axis. The axis units, so the units here are minutes, the units here are degrees Celsius for temperature. The axis scale as well, it shows how the units progress up and up, up along the x-axis and along the y-axis and also a line of best fit that shows how the points trend. This particular type of graph is a, is a scatter graph that has a uh, line of best fit placed through all of the different scatter points of the data that's been taken. A first example here is a column graph that looks at the annual income of five different people. The five people are, are written down the bottom and their income, or the income, changing up the side. We can very easily compare these, uh, compare these incomes to answer the questions. The first question is, what is a Reuven's income? We can have a look at a Reuven. A Reuven's bar goes up to $60,000, so that's his income. What is the difference between Jamie's income and Ashdev's income? Jamie's income is $90,000 in between $80,000 and $100,000 here and Ashdev's income is $40,000 so the difference is going to be this amount here if we subtract this amount $40,000 away from $90,000 then we get $50,000 is the difference between Jamie's and Ashdev's income Finally, who earns the most? We can see the largest bar is Stefan, and Stefan earns $100,000, so he earns the most. Our second example for today, we've got a pie chart here. A car owner graphs the amount spent per year on car-related expenses. So this is how much they've spent on their car. So here we can see petrol taking up the most, maintenance the second largest amount, registration the third, and ins insurance the smallest amount. So A, what is the largest expense in the entire year? Obviously it's petrol. Here, what percentage of the car's expenses is dedicated to maintenance? So maintenance is here, it takes up one quarter, one quarter, and one quarter is, is 25%. That is the, per the percentage that maintenance is, 25%. If the car owner spends $3,000 per year on petrol, so this amount is $3,000, what is the total spend of the year? Well, if 50% is $3,000 times two, the total is going to be $6,000. And the answers are here. So petrol was the amount that was spent that most um, uh, amount of money was spent on. 25% was the amount of money spent on maintenance, or the percentage of money spent on maintenance out of the entire thing. And if petrol, which was 50%, was $3,000 spent, multiplying that by two gives 100% of, of the entire spend, and that is $6,000.